Yo, what's up, man? Everything good? Yeah? Hey, man, what up, my fellow YouTube nurses? You guys trying to take a little sneak peek? I know I look like the guy from Matrix on Neo and everything, but uh, this is what you got to look like when you go to the interviewing process. I'm going to explain what you guys need to go through because um, I had a few questions about it. Number one, shave, look clean cut. I know I don't. Ladies, you got to trim that little nose hairs. You got sticking out maybe a little mustache hair. It's okay. Some people got hormone disorders. No worries. You got to look good. Clean cut is definitely the, the, the first thing. Second is... Wear a nice outfit. Guys, slacks, button-up shirt, tie, always looks good. Don't go in there wearing a scrub. Why? Because when I went in my interview, we had people wearing scrubs. It looks like you don't even want to get this job because you already have another job. Don't go to an interview with a scrub on. Honestly, though, come on now. Stop me when I lie. Third thing is bring an extra resume. I did. When I went in there, I had my resume ready to go. I was coordinated. You don't want to wear funky watches, a blue shirt, orange shirt. No, no, no. You want to look dressed and professional. Fourth thing is stand up straight, give good eye contact, and definitely, uh, you know, fifth and last one is bring your A game. That's what I always did. So when I had my interview, I was sitting there, had my little cup of coffee, all energized, ready to go, stood straight. And when they called my name, we had the clinical coordinator right in front of you. Then you had the manager, and then you also had the, um, the charge nurse. So they're asking you 20 different questions. You're sitting there, you know, trying to stay positive, And these are the questions that they asked me. Can we go through them? All right. Here's question number one. All right, Edgar, let's tell me about yourself. And you have to break it down. So you got to make it at least 10, 15 seconds. Don't go more than that. And I just told him who I was, what my goals were, and what I wanted to do with my life. So that's all I said. Didn't talk about how, yeah, I went overseas. I went over here. I went to Brazil. I went to Mexico. They don't care about none of that. Unless you did some, you know, volunteer work or that you're helping others that has something to do with the hospital setting, then they'd care. But honestly, you want to keep it short and sweet. And don't get nervous. They know when you get nervous, when you start talking too much. So keep it short. Second question is, what led your interest in nursing? That's another kind of tricky question because they want to know how you got into it. Not just, oh, I had nothing to do with myself. I figured economy was bad, recession was getting crazy. I, re I decided to go into nursing because of the money. Next question. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't want to say nothing like that. You want to make sure that you do it from your heart and that you wanted to go into nursing because uh, it was your calling, that's what you wanted to do. And so you describe and be sincere. Don't water it down, but sugarcoat it just a little bit. Make you sound like you were just all about nursing, okay? You gotta sell yourself. You're like basically a car salesman, but you do it in the nursing field. Third question is, describe a challenging problem you faced in one of your clinical rotations and how did you solve the problem? Here's another question they like to ask you because they want to see how you dealt with it, if you rationalized well, and if you were a team player. So there's a fourth question. When are you experiencing a stressful work situation? How do you relax? You got to give this with a professional answer. You don't want to say, I go home, kick the dog, drink a beer, and then I uh, go watch TV all day and get fat and lazy. No, 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 no. They want to hear something that you do that's a coping mechanism. Oh yeah, I'll just say I'll read a book, I'll go run a couple miles, or even then, you know, I like to cook just so I can stay busy and learn something. I don't care what you give them, but give them a good answer because they know they want to kind of break you down. They want to see what you say and they want to write down your pros and cons. So you always want to give them good answers. Then there's another question they ask me. Give a specific example of a time when you knew you did a good job as a nurse. They love these kind of questions because they want to know what you did to, uh, to basically help out as a, as a nurse. Uh, here's another question. How would you respond if asked by the head nurse to do some of the uh, menial tasks for patients which you knew that are normally not your responsibility? How did you handle that? Of course you're going to say, oh, I did my best to help out. We're a team player. I helped them. They helped me. You don't want to say, eh, I got too lazy <laughs> and I didn't want to help them. They weren't my patients, not my responsibility. Next question. Don't give an answer like that. You want to be as uh, straightforward as you can, but you also want to look like you're a team player and helping others. Here's another question. How do you relax when you face a stressful work situation? Like I said earlier, it's kind of a previous question. You don't want to say you go home, take the dog, whatever. You want to say, oh, I go home, you know, I read a book or do some cooking, exercise, run a couple miles, whatever. They want to know what you do because they know nursing is a stressful job. So definitely, you know, sit there and answer these questions. So here's another one. Do you think you'll be a career nurse or eventually looking for another profession and why? They love asking this question. Why? Because they want to know if you're going to stay with this facility or a nursing hospital or you're going to bounce and leave. So you definitely want to tell them, I'm all for it. This is the hospital. And you know what's another good thing is to memorize their hospital uh, sayings. You know how they all have a quote or whatever. Memorize that. They want you to repeat that and they'll like, oh, wow, this person knows our motto for this hospital. Cool. And they write good stuff about you. 
It's kudos. So here's another one. Can you describe a situation connected with nursing that made you angry? So they like asking you these angry questions or what you deal with nursing or how do you deal with stress because this is how the nursing field is. Another question is what type of colleague do you least like to work with? Don't say, oh, I least like these doctors. You got to say, hey, I like the CNAs, LVNs, RNs, the respiratory therapists, x-ray technicians, the discharge, social workers. You got to say you like everybody. You get along with everybody because it looks like you're a team player and you talk well, which communication is key. All right. Next question. How many years do you see yourself staying with this hospital? Ooh, wait. You better say for the rest of your life because if you say, oh, maybe six months and I'm going to leave, they're not going to hire you. So like I said, you want to sell it and say, hey, I want to work for this facility. This was my dream hospital to work with because I've been living in this town for so many years and I've been walking and driving by this hospital and I want to work here. This is my dream to work here. You got to sell it. Another question is, how do you go about making a decision? Of course, when, you, when they ask you this, do the nursing process. Like I always say, oh, add pie, which I assess, you know, you diagnose, then you plan, intervent, um, intervene, and then you implement. I'm sorry, implement and then you evaluate. So you got to give them kind of like a nursing process, what you do. Well, that's what I do before I make a decision. And you tell them that and they're going to be like, oh, okay. The nursing manager, the clinical coordinator, and the charge nurse are going to be writing good notes about you. So like I said, when they're asking you these questions, you got to look forward, give them good eye contact. Here's another question. Um, how do you go about, okay, are there any questions you have for me? Now, this is the most important one they're going to ask you. The reason why that is because you want to say, hey, when do I start? And then you can just keep going with, I like this facility and this nursing uh, you know, hospital. I've always wanted to work here. And the question I have for you guys is, are you willing to hire me? And then they can tell you and give you feedback. So you always want to uh, tell them, when do I start? And all these, um, you know, short and sweet. Like I said, and also bring a thank you card to tell them you know who you are. And so they remember who uh, they interviewed because they have 20, 30 interviewees that they got there. So when I went there, there's 30. Um, two opening positions. I got them. I didn't give them a thank you card, but I should have. And but I, the thing is, I went like this: the same outfit I'm wearing now. And I was more clean cut. You know, I had everything clean cut, shaved, no earrings. You want to look professional. So that was my video, guys. You guys have been asking me all the questions. I figured I'd shoot questions back at you of what I got during the interview questions. So uh, hopefully that's it. Don't forget, bring your resume. Look clean cut, women. If you got a little some, shave it off. It's okay. I'm all for it. <laughs> but you guys got to do your thing. Anyways, good luck on your um, interviews. Keep asking me questions, and I will talk to you guys later on my fellow YouTube nurses. All right, peace.